Hi, in this video I will be demonstrating the process to upgrade the VMware Tanzu Kubernetes grid management as well as workload clusters. Do make sure you have downloaded the required perquisite. Let's log into Bootstrap Server and start the upgrade. Download or copy the latest Tanzu Kubernetes grid installer on the Bootstrap Server. Before starting the management cluster upgrade process, do make sure you have the Photon OS templates for 1.17.6 and 1.18.3 imported in vCenter. These two templates will be used to upgrade the existing images used in Kubernetes management and workload clusters. If you have multiple Kubernetes management clusters, validate if the context is set to the Kubernetes management cluster you want to upgrade. Expand the installer file using gunzip command line utility. Before upgrading the Tanzu Kubernetes management and workload clusters, we need to upgrade the Tanzu Kubernetes grid CLI. You can only upgrade the Kubernetes clusters to the version supported in the Tanzu Kubernetes grid CLI. In this video, I will be upgrading the Tanzu Kubernetes grid CLI from 1.10 to 1.1.2. Replace the Tanzu Kubernetes grid existing CLI with the version you want to upgrade to. Validate if Tanzu Kubernetes Grid CLI gets upgraded to the version you want to upgrade. Once you have the Tanzu Kubernetes CLI upgraded, next step is to upgrade the Kubernetes Management Cluster using TKG Upgrade Management Cluster command before upgrading Kubernetes workload clusters. It would take 10 to 15 minutes to upgrade the Management Cluster depending on the number of control plane and worker nodes are there in Management Cluster. Post successful upgrade, you can validate if the management cluster is upgraded to the Kubernetes version you want to upgrade using include management cluster parameter along with tkg get cluster command. As you can see the Kubernetes management cluster is successfully upgraded to version 1.18.3. Once the management cluster is upgraded, you can upgrade the workload clusters with tkg upgrade cluster command. In my lab, I have two workload clusters one running Kubernetes 1.17.3 version and another one running Kubernetes 1.18.2 version. Let's first upgrade the Tanzu Kubernetes workload cluster with Kubernetes version 1.17.3 to version 1.17.6. As Tanzu Kubernetes grid 1.1.2 default Kubernetes version is 1.18.3, we need to specify to which non-default version of Kubernetes we want to upgrade the workload cluster. You can use parameter Kubernetes version along with the TKG upgrade or cluster command to upgrade a Kubernetes cluster to a non-default Kubernetes version. Wait for the time see a confirmation of successful upgrade. It would take 10 to 15 minutes to get cluster upgraded. The time taken will depends on the number of master and worker nodes in the cluster. You can validate the current version using TKG get cluster command. As we can see the workload cluster gets successfully upgraded to Kubernetes version 1.17.6. In case you want to upgrade your Tanzu Kubernetes workload cluster to default Kubernetes version, you don't need to specify any additional parameter along with TKG upgrade cluster command. During the upgrade process you can validate the node status using kubectl get nodes. kubectl will display the current version of individual nodes. This concludes the demonstration of upgrading a Tanzu Kubernetes grid CLI along with Kubernetes management and workload cluster. Hope this will be informative for you. Please do share, like and subscribe if you find worth sharing this.